Yeah, good day guys, this is Chibuzo Agowa and you're welcome to Blog Info Tech channel. This is a Google Search Console tutorial video and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up international targeting. You know we are in 2022 and the user interface, the UI of the Google Search Console is quite different from what you have let me say in two years back or three years back and the means by which you set up international targeting is quite different now. So if you want to know the current step that's what I'll be showing you in this video. And also in this video, I'll explain um, your preference. Maybe you have a website or a blog. If you want to target locally, let's say the country you're residing, I'll be showing you what to do. If you want to target international, I'll also be showing you what to do. So despite where your location is, you can easily target your, if your customer is outside the country you are in, you can easily choose the country or the preference of what your content in your website or your blog is all about and targets people in that same country so that's what i'll be showing in this video i will be walking you through step by step what you should do so i advise you to watch this video to the end to get all the tidbits i'll be talking about in this google search console tutorial video so let's get started you are welcome to blog info tech youtube channel so welcome back from the short break. So if you're a returning subscriber, you already know what we do here. I said you're welcome once again. You're the VIP. You keep this channel rolling. And in case you're visiting this channel for the first time, so let me give a brief introduction of what we do here. Blogging for Tech, like I said from the beginning, is the name of this channel. And what we do here actually is a technology-related channel. And we bring out tutorials periodically to help you. And we cover certain topics such as how to make money, affiliate marketing, mobile apps, computers, desktops, whatsoever you wish, all related to technology. So that's what we teach in this video. So I will indulge on you to kindly hit the subscribe button, which is that rectangular button below this video you're watching that has inscription subscribe. And also you can turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release important videos just like this. So once you've done that, particularly, you're now part of the family and you're welcome to the VIP section. So now let's get down to business of which I'll be showing you how to set up international targeting in Google Search Console. So the first thing you do you have to open your browser and you should type google.com slash webmasters that's to navigate to your search console so it will bring up this view and this view of this page google search central so the next thing you do is click on get started and if you are logged on to your gmail account on your browser automatically as you can see i'm logged on from this top so now once it brings up this view just click on go to search console in case you're not logged in to so ask you to log into your Gmail account, whereby you use your Gmail username and also your password before it will now bring you down to this video. So now we are in our Google Search Console proper. So now, like I said, the view have changed from what we have previous back, uh, previous years back. Whereby you can easily navigate to international targeting from just this navigation you find at the left hand corner. So now let me show you what you do if you want to navigate to where you can actually set of international targets and as you can see i have various blogs on this channel so you actually first of all choose the property or the blog you would like to like alter or set up the international targeting you can see i moved to a blog which is quite new and as you can see this is it so now i am on the pro uh, the blog or the property i want to set international targets and i want to switch from what it was before showing you an example in this video so now the first thing you do the left navigation corner you have to scroll down Scroll down a bit so you see the portion that says settings. You know, it had this G icon and the settings. So you click on it, it will now take you to a new view where you can do lots of things. So still, you still concentrate on this left navigation corner. You still scroll down a little bit, scroll down a little bit until where you get to where it says legacy tools and reports. My actually, my mouse cursor is hovering over it says legacy tools and reports so you have to just tap on it for it to unleash what it does as you can see you can now see the international targeting that was a little bit hidden before so now all you have to do is have to click on it it will now bring you to the page where you can actually set um, your international targeting depending on your preference or what your blog is all about or your website so now you see it has a language position now you have to just switch to the portion that says country so as you can see initially like i told you if your content or your your blog or your website is dedicated to let me say a particular region for example i'm, I'm a resident in nigeria and if for instance uh, my blog is um 
all about Nigeria, I have to like choose this is the portion where you can choose the country. You say target users in, as you can see. Once you click on this um, arrow that points down, you see various countries. So it depends on the country you are. You shouldn't necessarily target, for example, I'm in Nigeria. If this blog or this property I want to switch the website or whatsoever is creating content that targets people in the United States. So preferably, it is wise for me to select the United States as the people I want to target. So I say target users in the United States. And if I'm in Nigeria, I want to still prefer if my content is dedicated to people in nigeria i will still go down to nigeria select nigeria once i'm done i can actually click um, save but i'm just showing instance what and what you can target now for instance if your blog your website targets people from the whole parts of the world so it is wise for you to scroll down and choose the unlisted option i hope you get the point like i said if you want to target a particular region you have to choose the country you want to target from the list you find there, even if it is not your country. But if your content in your blog or your website spread or cuts across people across the world, so it is right for you to choose the unlisted option. So now, for example, I want to target on um, this blog that I just created is basically meant for people in my country. So I have to like switch, switch, switch till I get to um, Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria. So I've chosen Nigeria now, as you can see. So once you've chosen your preferred choice, like I said, depending on what you want. If your content is made for people all over the world, you should choose the unlisted option. If it is made for people in a particular country, choose the country that your content is targeting, irrespective of where you are. Even if you're in India, you can actually your blog can actually be targeting people in the United States or Nigeria. So that's what I just did. I just chose Nigeria. For example, this tutorial. So once I'm done, I will have I'll simply click on save. As you can see, the option is saving. And yes, it is done. So I'm done with this. And if I should switch back to go back to my search console, if I should refresh, normally they have to send a confirmation. Yes, that um, um you've switched the targeting of that back. So you can see the notification has popped in. So I'll have to check on it. You must get this confirmation to actually know that it is a success. As you can see, um, target country changed for this is the name site. Yes, as you can see, we've confirmed that. And also, you, you will receive an email to actually attest to this fact. Let me see if the email has arrived my inbox. Let me actually check. So that is just to confirm that the switch is complete. I want to go to my gmail.com. So we're true with the search one. So you can see how easy it is for you to actually navigate to the international targeting section. Like I said, you first of all go to settings. Once you go to settings, and you now go scroll down a bit, you now see where it says legacy tools and reports and international targeting. As you can see, like let me go back to my email. You see, I've received an email. Targets country change for the named site. So that is that. This is email confirmation. So with that, we've come to the end of this video, and you have seen how easy it is for you to um, set up international targets and right from your Google Search Console. So if you find this video informative enough, or if you're still confused in any question in any area, you can actually go to the comment section and ask your question. But if you find it perfect or informative enough, give it a thumbs up. But if you find it irritating and you don't like it, can also give it a thumbs down yes i will work on my next video so that will come to the end and um, the end of this very video so if you're still yet to hit the subscribe button kindly go down and do that because you should be the first to get notified whenever i release another important video just like this so we've come to the end of this video is my name i'm blogging for tech is the name of this channel so we'll see you in my next video bye bye for now